Okay, I'm going to try to do a little pie with some freeze-dried apple slices from a couple years ago. And I pre-baked the crust. I'm not going to bake the filling. I'm going to just put it in the pot, uh, rehydrate it, and then add some of the Instant Clear gel with sugar. So I've got a cup of sugar in here. And I'm going to add six tablespoons of the clear gel and mix it all together. And six. Okay. Okay. And just mix that together so that it's well combined. Okay. Oh, we've got the apple slices. These are some of the thin, golden, delicious ones. Oh, and the oxygen absorber. So, and I don't know if I need more than that. It wouldn't hurt to have more. So I'm going to add some more from another one and see how much I need. Because if we have extra, we can just snack it. Okay, I'm going to try that. Now, for rehydrating, instead of just water, I'm going to try some of the apple cider, spiced apple cider mixes and see what that does. So I think I'm going to need at least probably four cups of water. So I'm going to start with two with the cider, the spice cider mixed in there. I'm going to heat that up a bit on the stove. All right, I'm going to add another cup in there. So with three cups of liquid in there, I put a lid on it and turn it up to medium high until it starts to simmer. Okay, let's check that again. All right, now we've got it up to temperature, nice and boily. Okay, I think we're almost enough. Some of them are not quite done yet. Most of them are looking pretty good. Mm. They're apple-y. All right, so it took about 15 minutes to get them to this stage. All right, that looks like they're cooked. I don't want to overcook them, so I'm going to add the thickener stuff in now and sugar and see what that does. I'm going to turn it down. I slowly sprinkled in the sugar Insta Gel mix until it was the thickness I wanted. Okay, so that's thickened nicely. It took all the apple pie filling mix that I made to fill the crust. Okay, holy moly, that's yummy. So with that in there, we'll let that cool a little bit and then cut some slices, try it out. So far it looks great and the stuff in the pan was delicious. Oh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm gonna try this. So the apple pie using freeze-dried thin sliced apples and then the clear gel. Well, it's difficult to cut. 
probably because the blind bake shell and the apples are still in good form I thought they were going to turn into applesauce or something but they, they stayed in shape very well and that actually makes them harder to cut oh, I didn't get that cut very well here okay let's try that all right that holds its shape pretty well okay yeah that looks pretty nice you could try it because I blind baked the crust and the bottom of it wasn't cooked enough so I put it on the stove to finish cooking it Ooh, get out a scoop it tastes good the texture is raw it's weird I thought it would be kind of like the texture of the cans of apple pie filling mm -hmm. I don't know if we've ever made I've had that can pie filling. okay but, yeah um, which we eat with a spoon usually <laughs> yeah but the problem is there's still skin on it it's so like oh on the apple slices mm -hmm. I didn't think of that and then that texture just doesn't match with everything else and it's weird yeah because with I apple pies usually you would peel the apples mm -hmm. oh yeah. I didn't think of that yeah, it's pretty good flavor yeah, yeah I didn't good. think of yeah. that that's, that's ah. just kind of wrong but yeah because there'll be there'll be pieces of of the um peel still there I did not think of that okay yeah okay so the filling is like what comes out of a can except a little thicker but yeah if you're going to do that you need to peel the apple didn't even think of that yeah. that's why it's harder to cut because there's little pieces of peel still in there okay so make a note peel some of them so you could use it or cubes because if you had them cubed it wouldn't be the same problem either mm. I'm real happy with the flavor though peeling okay So I think it works out very well. The, the clear gel does a good job on setting it up. The flavor is great using the uh, using the spiced apple cider mix to rehydrate it. That was all good. But the peelings are a little bit of a problem I didn't even think of that so I would either peel the apples or maybe cube the apples and then you'd have a bunch of little cubes if you're going to slice them this way just make sure you peel them before you freeze dry them all right so the pie is good the flavor is great the texture is good everything is good about it except that I used apples that I hadn't peeled so for future ones I would definitely peel the apples first if I'm saving it for pie for just snacking on them the fact that the peels there doesn't cause a problem at all because it's crisp and crunchy and so is the rest of the apple so you don't even notice it and as soon as you try to break it it just snaps apart so it'll it will even powder but when you rehydrate the the peel gets strong again and so it's a little bit difficult for cutting it or for for eating it so that's the only big difference I would do later is I think I will save some of the apples cut them peel them core them slice them 
but I'll make sure they, they are peeled and label them peeled uh, so that I can save them for things like this. Because these are, this is really good. But that caused a bit of a problem. <laughs>